This conference that AACR has now organized in collaboration with ICML is creating a, a more of a balance between the basic science and clinical investigators. Importantly, it's not meant to be a U.S. meeting, it's really meant to be an international meeting. The meeting is a workshop. It's not just to sit down and listen to lectures. The idea is that it's a meeting to discuss findings, to air out opinions, to argue what the best strategies are, and to come up with conclusions at the end for what people uh, think are the most important uh, paths forward, and not just to receive, but actually to deliver and create new knowledge. This is an exciting opportunity, first of all, because of the state of the field. We're at a point now where there have been significant advances in understanding the mechanisms of pathogenesis, the genetics, the immunology of lymphomas, and to bring it all together into one uh, interesting conversation that brings both clinical investigators and basic scientists together to dialogue about the best way to bring these advances to the clinic. Many of our sessions are geared to provide a forum for considering these new directions from different perspectives. For example, will CAR T cells replace bone marrow transplantation? Are these uh, approaches that cancel each other out or are they complementary? Um, what do we think about that? And so sessions like this will have speakers who come from either the CAR T cell development side or the bone marrow transplantation side, give their perspectives and, and after they've done that, there will be uh, extended periods for discussion with a panel of people sitting on the stage and the audience participating in debating these particular questions. And we hope to hear many opinions, hear about emerging data, not just from the speakers, but from participants as well, and come up with a sense of what we actually think is the, will be the proper path forward for that particular question. There are other questions like that. We envision in the future that many clinical trials will involve selection of patients for particular therapeutic arms based on their genetic backgrounds or other precision characteristics. This is an especially great venue for, for trainees and junior faculty. It is designed as a networking meeting where people are going to be uh, interactive together uh, in venues in an organized manner so that there really is a, a extensive opportunity for discussion. Some of the key breakthroughs that are going to be presented and, uh, and discussed at the meeting involve the uh, advanced technologies for liquid biopsies. There will be detailed discussions of uh, how to design the next generation of immunotherapies uh, beyond CAR T-cells. What's the next step? How do we bring in novel technologies like CRISPR to even edit them further? Um, what are the emerging therapeutic targets in the fields of epigenetics? How are these novel classes of agents faring in current clinical trials? And what are the next set of agents that will be uh, translated to the clinic? We will uh, hear about innovative ways to manipulate the immune system so that uh, it can be um, enhanced and targeted more effectively to lymphomas, even, in the, even uh, using drugs that uh, target lymphoma cells themselves to enhance their ability to trigger a anti-tumor immune response. There will be discussions of how uh, some of the newly discovered genetic mutations in lymphomas cause disease, what the steps are for transformation and, and how they might lead to targeted therapies. Here we are trying to exchange ideas not just between basic scientists amongst themselves or clinical investigators amongst themselves or you know, computational biologists or whatever. We're bringing everybody together into one room, into the same sessions all together so that there truly is bench to bedside up and down discussion. Mm -hmm.